pretty good drill bit. Show you how I do taps um, with this drill press. Since we're lined up on that hole, I can put this center guide in. Well, yeah, I guess that's the right way. So what I do is I'll put that right there, keep the tap straight when I'm starting it. So once it gets started, go in pretty good see well you gotta tighten that up Frankie so you can put a little down pressure on it while you're starting your tap and it'll keep it centered up I think we're good enough now it'll go. This tap handle might speed things up a little bit. And I don't know if I'm doing this the right way. This is how I was taught to do it, but actually I was taught to deburr the hole first and I didn't do that. So I'm definitely doing it wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna cheat just a little bit on this. What I'm gonna do is just lay my plate. I got the three quarter inch offset there. I left the plate long. The reason I did that so I'll have a place to set the drill press when I'm drilling it. But what I'm going to do, and this might not be the right way to do it, I'm sure it's not, but I'm always looking for an easy way to do something. So what I'm going to do is put the drill bit through and put a mark on the plate below it so I'll just I'll, I'll know I have at least one way it'll fit <laughs> I know I've got off a little bit on a couple of holes so there might be only one way this fits on the dozer which I can put a mark on it for front or whatever so I'm not going to spend a lot of time drilling through but what I'm going to do is just center them up Lock it down. My drill press is not going deep enough, so we gotta run that down a little further. But this will give me a center mark to put the next holes in. I don't have any transfer punches. I need to get a set. This is about as easy. Might even be easier, I don't know.
Okay, so this is so far what we got going on. I got it propped up with some shims here. I think we're close to being right. And let me show you how I come up with that. Um, so the blade's not level. It's tilted forward just a smidge. So here's how I come up with this setting. As I used to square, just put the level up against the back side of the blade. Set this on top of the square. And it looks like I'm off a little bit. These are pretty sensitive levels. I mean, it's hard to get them just exactly. I might have a little metal on there. But this is a pipeliner flange lineup tool that I used to, I bought it back when I was doing some pipe work, pipe fitting, that kind of stuff. I can't find my angle finder. I've got a little cheap angle finder somewhere, but I misplaced it. But anyway, basically just set your level like that, and you can see I need to go forward a little bit. But the only thing about leveling this up that I can see is different is it did offer more protection by being tilted down because it was a little closer here. So there's gonna be a possibility of getting a tree, tree branch or something in on this. Uh, it happens when you're pushing trees, sometimes they come over the blade. I probably ought to build me some, ought to build me a rack to put on, or a, a lot of people build up like a brush guard on, on top of them. I might do that someday, I'm not real sure, um, maybe. But I got it centered up, I got it, I'll double check the width here before I weld it. Um, but yeah, this is in the center, center of the plate, center of the blade. So, and I haven't cut this out yet. I've got to cut this, I've got it marked. I'm gonna cut these corners, round them off. I don't like to have sharp edges on because I'll be pulling that off and throwing it on the truck or in the pickup or whatever I'm driving <clears throat> if I'm not, if it's not mounted on here. I'm kind of thinking about going to maybe five feet up. I don't think I want to go a lot higher than that. Um, I think there's going to be too much vibration, too much. I think it'll break the pole off if I get too tall with it. And another thought occurred to me is maybe I should have like a clamp so that that piece of pipe can be swapped out to a longer one. Just a thought, but that, that involves a lot more work and I could always build another, um, I could always build another piece to bolt to the clamp or whatever, so. But anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at now. I'm about ready to go get the welding leads, fire up the old Lincoln 200. Check the oil on the old SA200. Probably about due for an oil change, but oil's pretty clean. on my gas. I got, I built me a gas shut off here. Um, they seem to start better if you keep the gas turned off to them. It's going to make a liar out of me today. Come <laughs> here. Got no gas in it. Yeah. 
Well, actually, it does have gas in it. There she goes. Good deal. perfect on that end and it's staying pretty true all the way across so all right so I'm gonna square up the end of it first this is 3 8 plate I had a little bit of a crooked cut on there so this cut I always find it easier to pull your torch toward yourself if you're trying to keep steady of course for the camera here I'm kind of not, I'm not in a real good position, so that, that wasn't that straight, but it'll weld. Ah, come on. Good enough. Now, work on these corners on this plate here. I kind of marked them with a socket to round them off. Not much there, but beats having to grind them off. make this straight cut um, there's two lines marked here disregard disregard the one closest to me but what I'm gonna do is cut that and then I'll turn around and cut the uh, turn that up just a little get a little more heat that uh, didn't need much on them corners but I'll need a little more on this So I'll cut this straight first and then I'll come back and cut those corners. Come on. Well, that was not bad. Um, not bad at all, really. Kind of lost my mark, but I can see enough of it there, I think. All right, 
that's my torch work for the day, except for gussets. I got to do gussets. Um, Anyway, I think that'll work. I'll grind those up a little bit. Trim this little edge off here. This is a piece of steel I made a wrench out of for the dozer. Get comfortable here. Come on, baby. Ah. Plate's a little bit rusty. It's been sitting around a while. Can't slide very good on it. for this deal though. So what I wanted to do is make a gusset. Um, just kind of mock one up. They're not quite a triangle. But I just kind of wanted to see what it would look like if I put the 45 on there. I don't think they'd look too bad. Or I could put a 22 and a half on there. Have a little different size gusset, but I think, I think I'd be happy with. So it would, it would set like that right there. After I, after I cut that top off, I'll set it in there where it needs to go to get it flushed up and I think it'll work so I need to lop these off okay so I'm didn't I didn't show you the welding part but <clears throat> this is where we're at so far um, a little rusty on my overheads but they're going to be all right. I got a half inch plate gusset in right above the cylinder and I checked it to make sure everything seems to be clear. But I think that'll be strong enough for the laser mount. Um, it should be. I mean, the laser mount I'm getting is pretty heavy, so I hope the inch and a half pipe is strong enough. That's my next. Um, I debated whether to weld all the way across. I don't see the need to. Um, I think it looks okay like that, but anyway, that made the blade look a lot better, I think. Um, I never did like the way that was all bent up and, you know, just looked, just looked bad. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. So, that's taking me well, I had some pieces cut out yesterday. I had all the drilling tapping done, but it's taken me oh two and a half, three hours to get to this point. So not too bad. But I'll start the dozer and show you. Um, this is kind of. I'm glad I went with the plate that I went with because. That thing's always squeaked. 
got it just a little tight. Now, this might actually hit if there's enough slack in the blade. I don't know. This might actually hit here. If it does, I may have to come back in and trim that off. But I hope not. But I'm glad I didn't go with any wider plate. So anyway, that's a uh, pretty close clearance there. Pretty tight. It's the same on both sides, so pretty much, pretty much see about the same gap. I don't think my plate warped too bad. It looks like it stayed pretty flat. Here's the gusset I put in it. Um, it's got plenty of clearance there. It's probably going to shake. Um, I didn't really see the need to put any stiffeners on this down here um, don't think it's going to need it anyway I got the pre-cleaner on and probably should paint that sometime I guess but not today it's the 4th and it's hot and I think I'm going to go swimming something like this so when you start it up it goes through a check and i gotta read about it i gotta learn i got a lot to learn about it anyway i got it home at least so 